Okay, so the timer has gone off. It's been 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and check the temperature of the large and the small beaker and see what happened to the water that's in each of them. So the cold water in, actually let's do the warm water first. Okay, so we're gonna check the temperature in the large beaker first, which is the hot water but it's not hot anymore. It's now gone down. It's only 27 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna write that on the form. Okay, so you should write the temperature of the large beaker of water is now 27 degrees Celsius. And then we're gonna check the temperature of the small beaker small beaker, the temperature has gone up. So it is, let's see, 33 degrees Celsius. I'm going to write that on my form. I'll show it to you. All right, so now these are our two temperatures. The large beaker of hot water, the heat transferred started out at almost 70 degrees, and now it lost a lot of its heat. Where did that heat go? Well, it warmed up the small beaker of cold water. The heat transferred from the large beaker of hot water, it transferred its heat to the cold water because now the cold water is no longer cold. It's almost the same. Eventually, these two would end up being the same temperature. Um, which is called thermal equilibrium. So heat always transfers from an area of warmer temperature to an area of colder temperature until they are at the same temperature, which is called thermal equilibrium. So the results of the experiment, we're going to go ahead and record here. Let me just write that down and you can look at my experiment. Things while I'm writing my materials. Okay, so I'm gonna write we found out that the heat transferred, which means moved from the beaker with hot water to the beaker with cold water. Okay, so I'm gonna write, put this up so you can see what I wrote. This is what you should put under analyze your data. We found out that the heat transferred from the beaker with hot water to the beaker with cold water. And then I'm going to go ahead and circle my hypothesis. So I was correct that the heat transfers from hot to cold, just like the song. And the data shows that heat travels from, so we, I just said that, heat travels from hot. It's going to be messy because I'm trying to write sideways to cold. And that is the end of the experiment. Again, if I measure these temperatures in a couple more minutes, they will end up being the same due to thermal equilibrium. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Bye.